Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna be showing you a day in my life with my rats and what I do as a rat routine every day. So first thing I do when I wake up is basically go straight to the cage, see if they're doing okay, if they need anything. I take out that bowl from their fresh food last night and I'm gonna be refreshing that water and I'm just gonna give them some little cuddles. They're pretty old by now, they're a little over almost two and a half I'd say and they just sleep a lot so in the morning they don't really want to be bothered so i just give them a few cuddles and then just leave them be for the rest of the day but i just want to say hi in the morning and tell them i love them because it's important and this is my current cage setup i cleaned it yesterday in my last video you saw an other case but that was my temporary case this is my main one if you've seen in my room tour but in the bottom i have the paper pellets and some little nests because it gets quite warm so they can sleep there but on the other spots i just got lots of hammocks and baskets since they are old i try to have as many platforms and little things so they don't have the risk of falling so on this particular day i decided to make some more hammocks i haven't made them in a while but i do sometimes when i feel like i miss something and they have a favorite hammock that i only have one of and they absolutely shredded it so i thought i'd make try and replicate it if i could um my rat ratsu she has a tumor and it's not looking so bright we're waiting for the results to see if it's a good or a bad tumor but in the time that we've been waiting since almost a week it's it's gone so big i feel like it's just gonna be her best time so i want to make her a little something to just give some extra love so i'm using this um animal pattern and blue fleece and here i'm just replicating what it looks like i'm kind of measuring it i'm using centimeters but i'm just adding a few extra centimeters for sewing allowance i'm in no way an expert you'll see in this <laughs> video i was struggling so hard a bunch of things went wrong and i was kind of over it but i'm glad i got it at least finished so here i'm just writing everything down and kind of guessing how big it will be i have a really bad habit of underestimating how big i want something so i should have added like a few more centimeters on each side so if you're doing this keep in mind that so here i'm just checking how it looks like inside out but they've chewed it up so much that i can't even figure out what layer is which so we're just gonna go <laughs> get started so i'm just gonna cut out everything here and just get on to making it but what i wanted to say is that my red doesn't have long anymore and i only have one red left i already contacted contacted a bunch of shelters in my area if they have any spare rats or some place i could get could get kiwi to go but i don't think that there's currently anything because there's barely any rats in my area sadly so i'm very stressed about how it's going to be in the future but they are really old and i want them to have their best lives for as long as they can but if I can find something, I hope I can bring her there. But it's really hard. Like, no one talks about this when having rats. Well, maybe they do, but not enough, honestly. It's so heartbreaking to lose that many rats in such a short time. I've loved them all so much, but I just can't stand the heartbreak of losing them anymore. So I'm planning on not having rats for a long time. Maybe some male rats in the future, but for now, I'm kind of over crying all the time because they get sick so much. This year, I've been to the vet over or seven times, I think. My red mouse from my other red video has already passed away due also a tumor, so please keep an eye out of your rats. <laughs> so here, when I cut everything out, I'm just putting all the right sides together and clipping it. I didn't cut it straight at all, but I thought it didn't really matter because it's not clothing, right? It's just making an item. So here, yeah, I'm just clipping it and trying to test it which way I wanted to fold it. And getting out my sewing machine, I'm just going to start going around everything and leaving a little gap so I can flip it inside out and have the right size facing out. This is no way a tutorial because I'm really bad at explaining things and I'm just doing the most basic thing. But after I flipped it inside out, I'm just folding in the ends and just sewing over it to make it close shut. I do this just to make it look neat even though they are probably not going to notice and I won't notice. But at least they won't get inside of it because they sometimes chew up and then go inside of the two layers, right? So here I pinned it in the way that I want it and I put it 
inside out so you have the seaming on the inside and I'm also cutting some thread to make the hoops I cut these too big after all when I finished it because it sticks out a little bit too much and if it is that way I often have my rest just chewing up the cable and I end up just making a hole in my hammock and just hooping it through there but yeah if you make this make sure it's not too big and not too long too short so here I'm encountering my first struggle I found out that there are too many layers and my sewing needle would not want to work with me here i was struggling so hard and the needle ended up breaking there's a bunch of threads right there the needle is in there so i had to take it out and i was kind of annoyed because i don't have a heavy duty sewing machine so it's really hard sometimes to go over with this four layers and a piece of thread so here we are again the second needle going ahead i put in a different one i think so it went way better and i was excited i was like okay we're gonna get this done it's gonna be great so here we are and wouldn't you know it happens again the needle just snapped right right off <laughs> at, at this point it was hot i was done i put in another needle which thank god finished it and i was like we are never doing this hammock again and then i'm like what is this but i forgot you had to do the sacred blood sacrifice to make the hammock extra lovable so i had cut myself with some scissors accidentally so one band-aid later and two needles we had it finished Woo! so at night i think mostly around 10 ish 10 11 ish they are awake they are ready to get out their behavior from the morning is so different but this is the time that they went out the cage that i currently have is quite small with the door openings it only has two small ones so i can't really reach out so i'm training them to get out they really like those dried apple squares and the plastic kind of train them to come out because they know they're gonna get a treat so that's how i get them into the carrier and i don't really force them to do anything they don't want to we mostly hang out in either this bed or in our main bedroom but sometimes my boyfriend needs to sleep early for work so we just hang out here because we stay up quite late so they get treats i often have oats a whole box for them they get to run around and we cuddle and because they are old they don't really do that much anymore it only takes like five to ten minutes for them to get kind of sleepy again so they just hang out and we snuggle and they just lay underneath one of my plushies and they're quite well trained to wanting oats so when i'm calling them they come running to me i've tried tr learning them other tricks but so far no success my other rats were really good at it but since i only adopted ratsu and kiwi i think around almost a year ago now so they already were quite old when i got them so it was kind of hard to get them into to training so we just hang out we don't worry about having to do things so here they are just running around playing and cleaning each other so cute when they do that the cute little faces and mostly we do this for at least an hour every day i try to and but most of the time it's longer than that so it can be one and a half or two hours or until i'm too tired to stay awake and i want to go to bed so when it's bedtime, I just put the carrier bag up in the cage and I kind of know that it's time to get back or I just call them with my weird clicky noise that I make and they just get back into the carrier and we go back to their cage room, bedroom, whatever you want to call it. So for dinner, we have some carrot, some edamame and some cucumber. We had this leftover from dinner from the other day so i'm just saving those vegetables for them they really like cucumber so they often just snatch what they want and run away for their normal feeding i give them these pellets it's from the orange and white packaging i don't know what the name is but this is so far the best one i've used and they really seem to like it the box i have measured out to be enough for three rats because of mouse but i just put one third in and they don't have a ball so i just scatter feed it around so they find it i don't do that with the vegetables because i want to make sure that they finish it and they don't get lost because i don't want to get them moldy because sometimes not very often but sometimes they leave it in if they don't want to finish it or it was a little bit too much so i can take it out without it getting dirty or moldy so i leave that in a little box and the rest of the night they just spend eating and hanging out and probably playing a little bit and then they go back to bed and in the morning we start the routine all over again 
Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.